hello, my name is John Hamm, and I am here in the studio recording the audiobook for The Life and Adventures of Jack Engel by one of America's greatest authors, Walt Whitman. The Life and Adventures of Jack Engel is purportedly a true story, although it seems very fictionalized at parts. A very Dickensian, winding story of life in 19th century New York City and a young man finding his fame and fortune along the way. I had read a lot of Whitman as a student. I was an English major in college. So I was familiar with his work. Although this is kind of, a, of an outlier for him in his canon, it's, there are flashes in the prose in this that, that suggest his later work, but this is very much a young artist trying to figure out how he wants to best express himself. That he's very lyrical, his words are chosen very specifically for the sound that they make, and you have to lean into that. That's again what he brings to the table, that's what you want to highlight. Audio narration is significantly different from acting, and you're kind of composing it in the moment, and, and there's a lot more preparation, I think, involved with acting. You have to rehearse it, and you have to know your lines, and you have to hit your marks, and you have to have another person there, and it's, it's by nature a communal experience, whereas this is, is eventually communal, but in the reading of it, it's a little more solitary. At certain points during the read, it was very captivating emotionally and in and, and, and both ways, in a sort of a melancholy way and an exciting way, and you would get, you would find yourself really moved by the story. The narrative of the story is very compelling. You have all these great characters that pop in and pop out. The story originally was released serially. There's kind of the, the preamble and then the wrap up at the end of each chapter, which is kind of gets you wanting more. It's the 19th century version of a cliffhanger. And so there are clauses and sub clauses and run on sentences, and it, it is very challenging to find out, to find the voice in it, but no, no more or less difficult than, than certain playwrights. You just have to get your head in the right mindset and all of a sudden the, the rhythm kind of makes sense. 